couldn't be happier to be back in Canada. It is of the utmost importance for Americans to leave their country every two years. Because otherwise, we actually begin to believe we have a culture. <laughs> the closest we come to having a culture is when we leave yogurt in the refrigerator too long. <laughs> we are the only people on the planet who listen to the music of John Tesh. <laughs> and if any of you happen to be secretly doing it, take a fork and do this. Okay? You're better off with the wind whistling through your head. I made an extraordinary discovery in my travels as a comedian that I wanted to share with you this evening. It will change the way you look at everything. Really, from the beginning of time, people have looked at the heavens and believed that the end of the universe is out there. That is not true. It happens to be in the United States. And oddly enough, it's in Houston, Texas. <laughs> I know, I was shocked too. I discovered it really by accident, as any great discovery was made. I was leaving the comedy club there. I walked down the street. At the end of the street, there was a Starbucks. And directly across from that Starbucks, in the exact same building as that Starbucks, was another Starbucks. <laughs> At first, I thought the sun was playing tricks with my eyes. <laughs> but no, there was a Starbucks across from a Starbucks. And that, my friends, is the end of the universe. <laughs> People have said to me, how do you know? And I say, go there. Stand right between them and look at your watch. Time stands still. <laughs> and if you turn this way and look only at that Starbucks, immediately you think to yourself, you know, when I turn around, there can't possibly be another Starbucks behind me. <laughs> no one would be that stupid. And if there was a just and loving God, he wouldn't allow this kind of crap to go down. <laughs> so you turn slowly thinking, I'll see a Gap, a McDonald's, or maybe an Exxon. But there's another Starbucks! <laughs> what was the man thinking who stood in the empty building and looked across the street at the Starbucks that was already built? What was going through his head? as he turned to his wife and kids and said, you know, I have a vision. I pondered long and hard as to what group of people would need a Starbucks across from a Starbucks. There's got to be a lot of people in that area there, and I mean no harm by this, but they there's got to be a lot of people there who, who must have Alzheimer's. <laughs> it's the only, it's the only group of people who make this joke work. <laughs> okay? It's got to be somebody who sat in the coffee shop all day with his pals and goes to the door, opens it slowly, and looks across the street and goes, My God, a Starbucks. I think it's time we had a cup of coffee. <laughs> Thank you, God bless you. Have you guys been watching this AIDS documentary on Fox? I think it's called Glee. <laughs> I have a, my own idea for a new social networking site. It's, it's like Twitter, but it's called Fritter. And on Fritter, what you do is you tell people in the moment what you could have been doing with your life if you weren't wasting it reporting on your mundane activities. 